everybody, I am Liz and today I am doing a book tag for the Who Am I book tag. This was brought to my attention at the beginning of July by My Name is Marinas. She's a fantastic booktuber who really kind of makes you think a little bit more about the books you're reading and cultural contexts. So I really love following her. And so this book tag was created by PBS for the Grand American Read, which is this kind of series they were doing in order to kind of celebrate readers, celebrate books, and make another national book. So sounds pretty awesome. I'll leave stuff down below to check it out and everything else if you're interested. So let's jump straight into the questions with the first one being if your life were a book genre, what would it be? So for this I'm kind of torn between two answers as I get more involved with at least lately these past two years of college and as I prep for medical school, I've been very invested in research, especially with the psychology lab I'm working at currently. And so I have a book here, Man Interrupted by Philip Zimbardo and Nikita Kolom. This is a very intensive research type book because I always think that my life is beginning to turn into kind of a research journal or a medical journal about all of these things I'm learning and so that type of research and medicine and psychology is definitely a genre that reflects my life at this current point and this one is facing a lot of the kind of social constraints and the social issues involving men and then we have kind of more the reality of things kind of a contemporary about finding myself, finding my inner courage. And so I felt like Between Georgia by Jocelyn Jackson, she's kind of this go with the flow, like almost I don't want to make my own decisions type of a person until the very end of the book where she realizes that she really has to make her own decisions. And I'm at that very pivotal point right now where I have to make my own decisions as I apply to medical school and it is intense and scary and so I can definitely reflect and feel with those like contemporary vibes about finding yourself and finding your courage. So the next question is what villain from a book do you identify with the most? So to answer this question I can't get really into the plot and everything but definitely a villain I very much uh, sympathize with and I identify with are the woods in Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Now I know that sounds weird because woods are kind of inanimate the and everything like that, but these woods have a personality and a backstory and a lot of tragic things that kind of led to them being the way they are and turning things evil and polluting uh, civilization and everything like that. And so I definitely, definitely see myself in there and how, um, and, and I guess all of that. It's, it's really hard to explain without giving anything away. Next is what protagonist am I most similar to? And this one, as you guys know, my thoughts and feelings about Leah from Leah and the Offbeat by Becky Albertelli. I am very, very much like her. At least I was when I was younger. I definitely felt like she was my mini-me. But more recently, I have read Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. And Audrey Rose, her inquisitive mind, her need to kind of solve the questions and how involved she is with science, she wants to be a mortician or a medical examiner. That's what she really wants to strive to be, even though it's very taboo. And she really wants to prove to her uncle, who is a medical examiner, that she can do this. And that like fire and everything about her just really resonates with me and why I want to go to medical school to be a doctor. The next question is, which book did you connect with in the past that you no longer do? And I could do the obvious answers. The ones that I read as a teenager that had very problematic relationships, you know what I'm talking about. 
But I'm going to dig very, very deep into my past, and that is Matilda by Roald Dahl. I absolutely love this story. I was obsessed with the movie growing up, and I just, I absolutely adored it. And then I reread it last year for the Summer Biennial Bibliothon slash Booktubeathon and was crushed. This book completely removed all the whimsical happiness that I had with the movie because everybody's motivations were very different and just it was not the carefree, happy, um, story of my childhood and that was very sad and I am a bit heartbroken. So the next question is what recent book read would you love to be a character in? And so with that one I have the Mistborn series particularly that secondary four books that happen after the original trilogy because I love the Wild West meets kind of that Victorian era culture with the alchemy. It sounds just so much up my alley. Um, when I was younger, I also all really enjoyed like Wild West type movies and kind of how rough it could be. But there was also that semblance of civility when you go to a city. So. I definitely really love that world. Another one is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman because this world, it's just so interesting. One, I love London. I love London and I want to go there and, you know, see what it's all about. Not just through pictures, but actually experience it in real time. But I also really love the London Below, this mystical, fantastical world that Neil Gaiman created. I just think about how when Richard goes to the market and he is just blown away by people selling food and trinkets and all these other things and they're, they look like items that were left behind or forgotten but they have real deep meaning to all of these characters and all of these sellers and vendors. The next question asks about how do your reading habits show off your personality? And I I don't I'm not quite sure. I feel that my reading habits I they're very varied. I read a little bit of everything. And so it shows that I'm very flexible and I'm prone to learning about new things, new ideas, whether it be some interesting, fantastical, magical scenario or mythology or I really want to dive into some type of um, science where you're in space and they're trying to jerry-rig a spaceship to work or a beacon so that they can be picked up or uh, like Stalking Jack the Ripper, 1800s medical terminology and how they really like went about being a medical examiner and discovering the who done it, the how do we solve a murder and everything like that. It's just well, that's what's so nice about reading and trying to branch out and not really reading the same thing over and, and over again, like being in fantasy over and over again or, or sci-fi over and over again, is when you bounce around in the genres, you can really get more of like this, this full idea, this all-encompassing idea, and you learn more and more things, and, and that's very much me being a Ravenclaw. I love learning, and I love just kind of adapting to new things, and... So, yeah, maybe that's my personality. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really good at answering this question. Now we are on to the last question, which is what book taught you something about yourself? So for that answer, I have Let's Pretend This Never Happened, a mostly true memoir by Jenny Lawson. She is a bloggess, a really quite popular internet blogger. And she kind of winds up all of the stories and the backstories be behind her blogs and puts this into a memoir from her childhood on to now. And it was such a great read. Um, she suffers from anxiety, rheumatoid arthritis, and 
she has her interesting fascination with taxidermy so I definitely enjoyed reading her stories but also learning from them that it's it's okay to have anxiety and work through it and it's okay to have physical ailments and still go about your day and still succeed. And so there we have the Who Am I book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble about my backstory, my life and everything like that. Please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the books I've mentioned in this book tag. And um, if you really want to do this tag, please let me know in the comments below when you do the tag or if you've already done it. Link it to me so I can go and watch your thoughts and feelings and the who you are examples in this book tag. So I hope to see you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye.